News 9's photojournalist Courtney Holsey was there today. News 9 photojournalist Courtney Holsey. News 9's photojournalist Courtney Holsey. News 9 photojournalist Courtney Holsey. News 9's photojournalist Courtney Holsey. As the sun came up and the smoke cleared, the picture of the wildfire's destruction became clearer. Smoldering hot spots, homes burned to the ground. It's an image that seems to repeat itself in one block after the next. Down the road. The wind that ripped through this Choctaw neighborhood is now calm. And Patty Walker is thankful. I'm very blessed because we were lucky. And grateful for the neighbors who saved her home. Everybody was just grabbing houses and pitching in where they could pitch in and when something was really getting bad we all tried to concentrate on that area. I, it's just amazing how good the people are around here. Walker was home when the fire swept through town Friday and she refused to leave. I've been told I was a bingling for not leaving but I was like I can't leave my house. If I lose my memories I lose everything. Across the way, Choctaw's Mayor Randy Ross's home couldn't dodge this bullet. The fires uh, two years ago went just to the west of me and took out several houses. Fortunately, we've missed those, but this time we weren't so fortunate. The mayor, like many, is left with nothing but the shirt on his back. It's pretty sentimental. It's uh, tough to look at uh, you know, your, your worldly possessions that are gone and uh, I'm wearing pretty much borrowed clothing today with a shirt that I gave my father-in-law and my son's pants. Despite losing his home of 27 years, he's dealing with the devastation with a smile. He has plenty of reasons to. And sun shining, and we all got up and and now it's just go about our business and Oklahomans are resilient. The mayor says he plans to rebuild and Patty Walker says she will recover. And it's that Oklahoma resilience that helps both people rise above the ashes. Life goes on and we survive. That kind of makes you feel better. Welcome to the Red Rooster, a place of tranquility and a chance to step back in time. Until I standing on the front porch. Well, about that time, I heard a roar. Like a freight train, the May 24 tornado didn't stop for anything. All I could remember was just praying that, that God would save me. In a matter of minutes, Debbie's world was turned upside down, literally. Here's what's left of her red rooster. And over here, the prairie chicken, what once used to be a unique home away from home for Debbie's customers. I think about my customers, and I think about how pretty the cabooses used to be. And but being underinsured, Debbie was forced to make her home livable again and reinvested the rest just to make ends meet, leaving little left to restore the cabooses. It's sad to drive up every day and see them down. I hate to leave them here to, to rust, and I don't want to cut them up. It's overwhelming. I mean, you're just, uh, it, it's a roller coaster of emotions. You can accomplish enough in 30 minutes. We're going to do the lunge and stretch, and we're going to show you guys today some things you can do okay. in that 30 minutes. Squat and press up and over. You can get in, warm up, get your heart rate going. To help get our heart rate going, we're going to step every time. Step and boom. Go. 10, yep. Okay, I'm sorry, Inside wait, wait. leg is lunge. Yep. Three bursts. And we're going to go back up. You guys were lifting 40 pounds. No, we weren't. <laughs> like where I'm peaking and then recovering and peaking and recovering over 30 minutes. And then you're going to hinge, row, then the dumbbells stay right there and then come up. You're going to be better probably your second and third set. What we want to focus on is kind of multi-joint exercises. Sit up. Jump, compound moves. Oh, yes. In unison, girls, keep it together. Let's get a little bit of hang time now. Where I'm doing, you know, say a squat, 
with a press. Weights in the heels, core's tight, or you're doing a lunge with a rotation. There you go, drive up off that front leg. You're trying to get as much done as you can in that short amount of time. Now, we gotta go again, right away. Let's get right back into it, Lauren. The benefits of getting a little workout in at lunch, 10 of them. We all know how unproductive we are compared to the morning time, about 24 minutes. I do way less in the afternoon. I start getting sluggish and I'm tired. I'll be happy afterwards. You'll definitely be happy afterwards. She's not happy right now. <laughs> compared to if I get a little workout, boost of a little, little bit of adrenaline, get some, you know, get some blood flow. Good job, girls. And you should be more productive through the rest of your day. We are about 20, six 27 minutes into it how are they gonna finish off we're just gonna they're gonna walk get their heart rate back down and then we're gonna just do some light stretching we want to keep that blood flow going try and transport that lactic acid out and then also just to, it feels good to stretch at the end of the workout we want to say thanks to photojournalist Courtney Holsey for putting that together